This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Run the app and make watchers for the temp F, temp C, temp display F, and display C variables. Then run the code. Okay, run the app. Make what? Yep. So how do we do watchers? They're way down here, remember? And watchers will just track these variables for us. It's a lot like professional web develop web uh, development environments, not web development, programming development environments. So temp F, and I want to get all these. Temp display F. And make sure you do the capitalization as needed. And let's hit run. I want to see all these. So we got temp F is defined at 70. That makes sense because remember, this was temp F we saw last time. 21 for Celsius. OK. Temp display F is 70. OK. And notice the distinction here. These are integers. So they're just numbers. And these have these strings on them. And they will be adjusted. Oh, maybe they're not working. Oh, no, there they go. Huh, so something's up here. Let's see. Okay, it has a slow reaction time, I think. Let's see. How do you think math round works? But what is happening in line three? Let's look at line three. Ah, variable math round. Temperature, the Fahrenheit temperature, minus 32, so minus 32 degrees, times four, five ninths. So that's how we're getting the temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. To convert that, to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, you want to subtract 32 and then multiply it by 5 ninths. That's what's coming up with this number. What do I think math round does? I assume it would either round to the highest. It's going to round off the, well, the number. I would assume it gets rid of any decimal point. So if it's even if it's 0.6, I think it will just disappear entirely. Let's see. Delete the space in between the quotation marks. All right. Try deleting math round in lines 3, 15, and 28. What happens? Let's see. So I'm going to go into text mode to get rid of this. I just need to make sure. Oop, let's reset it. Math round. I need because I'm going to get rid of a uh, parentheses. I need to make sure to do so on both sides here. 316. 28. OK, and let's try it now. Let's go back to box. Well, what's happening? Add it back. Delete the space in between the quotation marks. So now it's not going to work for us. Let's see. Let me reset. And let's make sure it's got it's updated. Hmm. Let me go into text mode. Sometimes it has an error like this. I'm in text mode and I'm going to hit run and maybe. Ah, there it goes. OK. You can also go into text mode and then hit refresh, but you would lose these watchers. All right. So notice what it's doing. We are getting full decimals here. So R or the thoughts we had on it was correct. You get full decimals if you do this. So now it wants us to add those back. So actually, math dot ran round, not random. Make sure you have a lowercase r here. If you're using blocks, it might be a bit easier to make sure your syntax is right. OK, so math dot round. And then we did it on line 15, math dot round and what it's doing is it's it was just rounding off the decimal so it was throwing that away for us Oop, what did i do here need one more there we are and then on line 28 and now we should be back to normal yep c21 so on and so forth what else does it say Delete the space in between the quotation marks and the letter F ah, on line four. So what that will do is our F is going to be smushed up against the number. Because the only reason there's a space here is because we're going to have it right there. Now, if we output it without a space, when it takes temp F and slaps it on the screen, there will be no space. Did it want us to do that to line five? Nope. And so 
if you want to space on something like this, when you're combining a letter or, an, or a word with a number, you need to put a space in front of it. Otherwise, that will not occur. Cool. Awesome. Let's uh, keep going. I can't wait till we make our own app.